Hello, and welcome to Southelt's Child Control Software. In this video, I'll give you a short overview of the program's possibilities. I assume that you have already installed Child Control. If so, then you'll find the icon of Child Control in the lower right-hand corner, next to the Windows system tray. If it's been double-clicked, the child sees how much time has already elapsed and when the next time limit is. Click on the button Settings to get the password screen for the control center. You have to enter the password each time you want to access the control center. And again if you want to uninstall it via the Windows Control Panel. By default, the Child Control Wizard pops up at startup. There you can easily set some basic settings. But I want to show you the main aspects of child control. So let's close the wizard for now. Let's begin with the start section. In the upper left, you see settings which apply to all users, if internet remote is turned on or if there are any unlock requests from your kids. If you want to change the user, you can do that easily by using the drop down box in the upper right hand corner. The users here are the same as your window users so you don't have to set any user account twice. After you've finished selecting a user, there are a lot of settings and restrictions available on the navigation panel. We'll now take a closer look at these restrictions. Use the section Time Limits to set individual time limits for each of your users. You can set a time limit applying to the PC's runtime. You can set different limits for the day of the week. You can do that alternatively for Internet as well. You can also set some special limits. For example, you can decide that after a runtime of two hours, there has to be a forced break of at least 15 minutes. You can also release or disable all restrictions until a given date. Use the Internet section to block certain categories for unsuitable web content. Millions of sites will then be blocked based on your selection. You can also exclude certain websites from that filter by defining it as allowed, or you can block individually chosen sites. It's also possible to restrict time for some websites. So you can set a time limit for Facebook, for example. You can also put URLs into groups and set group time limits. Last but not least, you can set up bonus websites. For example, define an educational website and your child will automatically get a bonus if he or she uses this site. Use the section Programs to define what should happen if special programs are used. Here you can set the time limits for programs as well. Maybe you just want to limit a special game to an hour and a half a day. You can also block certain programs completely, or you can set up groups to add programs together, or you can define it as a bonus program. Like the bonus websites, the child will get a bonus voucher if he or she uses a special program. Use the Security section to set some special window restrictions. Here you can block system internals like the registry editor or the command line. These are optional settings and not relevant to child control security. For example, even if the child has administrative privileges, he or she is not able to terminate the child control timers through the Windows Task Manager. Use folder security to block some certain folders, for example for some private data. Use the usage log to see how long certain applications ran. You can also see how long a website was visited. You can get a quick overview of how long a program or website or group was used. In the Detail view, you can block or limit time of an application or website with a single mouse click. All this data can be emailed to you. Just activate the email report and define when you want to get an email. At PC Start, at PC Stop, or only once a day. This was an overview of the user-specific settings. Besides these, there are settings which apply to all users. The user section which shows all your Windows users and some details and if child control is active for that user or not. In the settings section you are able to change settings in depth. Here you can decide what should happen if the PC time limit is exceeded or if the internet limit is exceeded. Is it currently a school holiday? If yes, you can set additional vacation time just by marking the vacation extension. 
Use our very popular TAN system to give the kids time vouchers. Set the desired extension and the system will create a number which can be used by the kids to extend the time by themselves automatically. If you face problems with a special game or application within child control, you can add it to the exclusion list. Every program on this list isn't touched by child control at all. Use the Internet Remote feature to activate your online access. From now on, you can control all of your child control settings directly from every Internet PC. You don't have to bother your kids to access their PCs for settings. I hope you enjoyed this video and gained a broad overview. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via email at support at Thank you for watching.